Okay, let's talk about feeders a little bit. As you can see here in this colony, there is a feeder right here. This is called a frame feeder. Now this is basically a feeder that takes the place of one frame. Um, they make feeders wider to where they take up two frames. I believe this one holds one gallon of syrup. What I like about this feeder is it's within the colony. That helps the colony defend its food and I don't have to worry about robbing being such a big problem. This is called an entrance feeder. And you would put your syrup in the mason jar, turning the mason jar upside down on this entrance feeder. Then you just simply insert the jar into the front of the entrance. And how this works is, the bees are able to come down to the inside of here and get the syrup droplets that are falling from the jar. Here you can notice the pinholes in the lid of the mason jar. The pinholes release droplets of syrup for the bees to eat. This is a nice cheap feeder. I can't take that from it. The thing I do not like about it is I think it causes a lot of robbing. Okay, so moving on to the third feeder. This is called a top hive body feeder. And how this works is you remove these and you dump your syrup down into these two compartments. There's one on each side. And then I put this back on. The bees come up through the middle. They come down in here where the screen is and they're able to get the syrup. This keeps them from drowning. They're able to climb on the screen and get in and out. Whereas if I would just leave that open, they would just go over there and there'd be piles of dead bees. So this is a nice feeder too because it's within the colony. From here you would put on the inner cover. And the top cover. And your hive's got a feeder. So that is the top hive body feeder. And this is a feeder that I built myself and there's plans online. I'll leave a link here at the end of this video if you're interested in building one for yourself. Or if you like the top hive feeder and you don't want to build one, there is a simpler alternative. You can purchase this plastic insert and then you just simply place it in a super. And voila, you've got a top hive feeder. Okay, here's another very simple way to feed your bees, and this costs hardly anything, and you probably have these already. It's just using a simple Ziploc sandwich bag. Now what you're going to do is you're going to put your syrup solution in the Ziploc bag. You're going to place this bag directly on top of the frames in the brood chamber where the bees are. And then using a utility knife, you're going to make three or four slices across the bag. This will give the bees access to the sugar water and they will eat this. The really good thing about this is it's really close to the brood. It's easy for them to get to. And with this here, it, I've noticed there's very little drowning. If anything, there's a couple bees that get trapped inside the bag, maybe three or four. But, and you compare that to some of the other feeding methods, that's pretty good. So, this is a... A real good way to feed your bees. The, only, the downside to it is that you can't feed very much at a time. And you want to make sure that you, uh, when you cut your bag, you do not push too hard and cut all the way through, therefore allowing the syrup to drip down on the bees in the brood. This is called a pail feeder, and this is basically a small bucket that I have drilled really small pinholes in the top of it. And when I turn it upside down, the vacuum inside the bucket keeps it from just showering out on the bees, which just make basically leaves little droplets hanging from the bottom of the lid where the bees are able to come up and eat that. 
now protect to protect this and the colony. Another box would go around it. And as you can see, my deep box here will fully enclose it. The lids are on. Now you don't have to worry about robbing. And that would be a pail feeder. And this is something you can really make yourself out of anything that's small enough to fit inside the colony. So it doesn't have to be a small bucket like that. It could be a, you could take mason jars and turn them upside down and put holes in the bottom. But the thing is with the mason jar is you're not gonna hold very much volume.